Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about soon-to-be tropical storm or Hurricane Epsilon that will likely form in the Caribbean next to Jamaica around October 20th. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center has invested 93 hours at a 10% chance of formation. This is not the system that will soon pose a threat to Cuba, Jamaica, and southern Florida. This is a separate system that could bring impacts to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic in the form of tropical depression force winds and heavy, heavy, heavy rain. Lots of flooding is expected. This is the Climate Prediction Center's Global Tropics Outlook. Week 1, October 14th through October 20th, you see there is a red hashed region in the Caribbean, south of Jamaica, and that corresponds to moderate confidence for tropical cyclone formation. Um, and week 2, valid October 21st through October 27th, has a solid red color in that same area, which corresponds to high confidence in tropical cyclone formation. The Climate Prediction Center has high confidence that a tropical cyclone will form in this area, and models have had tons of consistency the last few days with this system happening. And the odds are, unfortunately, it will likely become a hurricane when it does form. The National Hurricane Center has not highlighted this yet because we are not close enough for them to highlight it. They will soon, though. I am expecting the National Hurricane Center to highlight it soon. Let's get right into the models. This is the GFS model run, and this image you see here is October 21st, Wednesday, October 21st. You see that system starting to form south of Jamaica, where that L1003 is. And skip ahead a few frames, it gets much better organized west of Jamaica on October 23rd with a pressure of 998. The lower the number, the stronger the system. And it starts rapidly intensifying as it makes landfall in central Cuba around October 24th, according to this model, this run, at a pressure of 971. And then it rips through the Bahamas and potentially impacts southern Florida with a pressure of 963, which is a very strong system. Exact landfall location from the system is uncertain at this time, but what we do know is that a system will form and pose a substantial threat to Cuba, Jamaica, southern Florida, and the Bahamas. And the exact strength is also moderately uncertain. You see that system strengthening even more off the coast of North Carolina to a pressure of 958 as it pulls off to the northeast at 960 and dissipates and gets rid of tropical status. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic right now. You see the Caribbean, still very warm. October 14th, it's still very warm there. Widespread 30 to 31 degrees Celsius waters, which are more than enough for any potential rapid intensification of systems if shear and dry air don't get in the way of the system. And in the Bahamas and off the coast of North Carolina, where the system in the latest GFS model has it tracking through, also have warm waters in it, like 26 to 28 degrees Celsius waters. But as you go more north towards New England, those levels quickly drop and the system will quickly fall apart there. Today's question of the day is what time of the day do you like the most? Is it the morning, afternoon, evening, midnight? What time of the day is it your favorite? Comment below and I'll look your answers over. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential Hurricane Epsilon. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.